Ford just received an enormous $9.2 billion bailout or loan from the US government. Now, what I find surprising about all this is that the UAW has slammed the decision by the US government. Clearly, the UAW and the Biden administration have fallen out. This is really surprising news. What this means is that the decision by several different states in the US to mandate Tesla's NAX charges is only going to get a helping hand, more than likely within the next six months. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Snot Viking. Yeah, I'm going to rename the channel the Snot Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sorry I've been away for a while. Come to Melbourne here. This is my parents' home, and uh, it's cold, and I've obviously contracted the is the winter weather Aussie cold. Anyhow, great to see you. Ford have received $9.2 billion from the US government. I'm curious to know why they need that. I mean, that's a lot of money. Or is it that Ford need 9.2 billion US dollars from the government? What's most interesting about this is this is the largest loan the US government has ever handed out to a car maker in its history. That's um, quite a considerable position for Ford to be in. Clearly, the US government said, Ford, hey, how much do you need? And um, Jim Farley said, how much can you give us? And the US government said, well, you know, we can give you nine and a half billion. And Farley said, well, that's the most you've ever given, ever. Why does Ford need the biggest loan in history? Mm, that's a little bit concerning because that means that Ford is struggling to source funds on the private market at rates that they can afford to pay back. What's actually most interesting though, is that this is triple the size of the $2.5 billion, actually more, it's nearly four times the size of the $2.5 billion that the US government gave General Motors. How is this gonna work out for General Motors? General Motors say, you know, we want, a, we want a bailout, not a bailout, I mean, we want a loan, and the US government says, okay, we'll give you two and a half billion. GM says, is that all? And, and the US government says, yeah, that's fair enough, right? What, six months later, the US government gives Ford 9.5 billion to do the exact same thing. Both Ford and GM are using the money for the same purposes, which is to build battery factories and EV plants. Ford will use the money to build the Blue Oval City. This is made in collaboration with cell manufacturer SK Innovation and will spawn two battery producing facilities in central Kentucky and another one in West Tennessee. Now, I'm curious to know why the unions are in such incredible opposition to this deal, but they are. And I think that there's a good chance it has something to do with the fact that this is a joint venture between SK Innovation and Ford. A little bit like the US government giving uh, a loan to SK Innovation or giving a loan to South Korea. That's sort of what's happening here to some degree. Now, getting back to the UAW president, the UAW president has blasted the Biden administration for handing out this loan, which is surprising. The reason he says this loan is so bad is that the $9.2 billion loan is just a massive giveaway with no consideration for wages, working conditions, union rights, or retirement security that would keep low-paying jobs. Now, if you think that the UAW um, not criticizing the Biden administration Think again. He said, the UAW president said this, why is Joe Biden's administration facilitating this corporate greed with taxpayer money? The wages of workers at battery joint venture plants are expected to be a key issue in contract talks that start next month with the Detroit three automakers. Maybe the point here that he's trying to make, the president of the UAW, and I think he does have a good point here, is that wages at these plants are pretty low. And well, if, you, if you're looking at General Motors battery plant, then he'd be right because apparently General Motors and LG Chem were offering workers a rate of $16 per hour, which is less than you can make at McDonald's in some states in America. Mary Barra said, we can't get our battery production going. It's, it's not working. And well, clearly the reason she said for this was that they can't find staff. They can't find staff because they're only willing to pay $16 per hour. The UAW president is concerned that Ford are going to do the same thing. Ford's joint venture with SK Innovation is building battery plants in Kentucky and Tennessee capable of collectively producing more than 120 gigawatt hours annually. That's quite a lot of battery production. It's enough, in fact, for around a, 
one to two million cars, depending on the size of battery packs in those cars. Not only is the federal government not using its power to turn the tide, they're actively funding the race to the bottom with billions in public money, the UAW said. Do you agree with that? Let me know if, what you think about that comment in this in the comments. I'm, I'm kind of a bit torn on that. That's an interesting idea. Not sure I agree it's a race to the bottom. And I think the US government knows if we don't fund Ford and SK Innovation, Ford are going to turn to CATL to make their batteries in America. That's like a, a way for the Chinese to infiltrate the US economy. I think that's what the US government thinks. Ford on Friday said it expects that Blue Oval SK will pay competitive wages and benefits to attract and retain the workforce needed to build high-tech batteries. And added that workers will be able to choose whether they organize a right that Ford fully respects and supports. Now, intriguingly, the White House fired back. They said, Biden and the UAW are working toward the same goal, to ensure the future of the automotive industry is made here in America with good paying union jobs. The president respects the UAW for working hard for the interests of the working people they represent. And the president will keep working hard toward that goal as well. Very measured response from the government. I'm going to say I found that quite a good response to the criticism from the UAW, but clearly UAW and the US government no longer in bed together. Very interesting to see. How will this change things? Could this mean the US government says, well, you know what? We've been pushing... We've been pushing the anti-Tesla thing we have for a while now. It's time to say, well, okay, yeah, Texas, Washington, other states who are saying NAX charges have to be installed for government funding in those states. We're going to do the same thing because, hey, you know what? The UAW doesn't really love us anymore. Why not? Why not start supporting the standard of charging in North America, which will be NACS? That could happen. I don't know, though. Very interesting to see, though, that Ford says they need $9.5 billion in funding and they've requested the largest loan in history. This is kind of a bailout to some degree. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.